Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight for story time, we're going we're going to read "Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving." Story and pictures are by Dave Pilkey. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Are you ready? "Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins, in hopes that a field trip would soon begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Drumsticks are turkey legs. Or chicken legs. Over the rivers, through the woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. But what to their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and a tiny turkey and a little old man so lively and rugged they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim, from his head to his toe, with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then, in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted, and he called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. It's a hug. They greeted each of the children with a hug. So out through the barnyard, they, they ran and they flew, and they gobbled and giggled, as friends sometimes do. They're all playing together. And then somebody spotted an axe by the door. And she asked Farmer McNugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. said McNugget. These feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. He's going to chop up and cook the turkeys? Oh dear. Those kids don't want him to get the turkeys. Oh dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well, and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water, fresh from the ground, in hopes the swig might calm everyone down. Get everybody a drink of water, maybe they won't be so upset. 
and when they returned to quieter to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and the girls drank up their drinks in the hay and then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. Hmm. They sure look bigger, don't they? They limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. You see what they're hiding? Do you see the turkeys? And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round. Not a turkey in sight. Where did they all go? "'Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful the turkeys the most. Each family has a turkey as a guest. They're not cooking and eating the turkeys. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. you have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. Remember to be thinking about what sorts of things you're thankful for. Moms and dads who take care of you, all of your friends, you have lots to be thankful for. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.